I, I'm on this sort of mental health journey now, which a lot of us are on. And it's, you know, it's nice. You sort of learn stuff about yourself. And I was really trying to work out why it is. My therapist is so patient. She just put up so many stupid questions for me. But I was trying to ask her why it is she thinks that I had this PTSD episode. She said, listen, you're on the end of quite an unpleasant, racialized hate campaign in the press. People sending you death threats. That's going to leave a mark. But she said, separate to that, I really think you need to embrace the fact for your mental health journey that you have always had some level of mental health problem. There's always been some level of anxiety and depression in your brain as the way you're wired since you were a teenager. And I said to my girlfriend, hey, can you believe she said I've always been mentally ill? And she said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can, mate. And I said, why did you say that? And she said, can you remember what you were like when we first started going out? Now, the truth is, I can't. We've been together for 10 years. We're not going to get married because she has a feminist objection to the institution, and it turns out oat milk dickwads move in pairs. But... <laughs> We have been together for 10 years. Or as she keeps saying, enough. <laughs> she keeps saying, enough now, innit? It's enough now. And I keep saying, what are you going to do if we break up? What am I going to do? We've been together for 10 years. We got together when I was 27 and she was 23. Neither of us had a relationship before this. At this point, we are each other's first and only loves. Our relationship now is like a prison sentence that we both serve together. And if released from it, statistically, all we're likely to do is re-offend to get back inside. Side note, if we do get married, those will be my vows. <laughs> She said, can you remember what you were like when we first started going out? I said, what do you mean? She said, you couldn't sleep. Do you not remember that? You just wouldn't be able to sleep for days, weeks, months if you had something going on in your work life, something going on in your personal life. Now listen, I've been in a relationship for 10 years. This is the only thing I've learned. And it is only one thing. If there's two people in a relationship, regardless of the sexual orientation or the gender identity of those two people, one of you is good at sleeping and one of you is bad at sleeping. <laughs> and every time that happens, exactly what happened on the front row happened here, where she just turned and looked at him. The speed at which you two turned to look at each other, it was almost as if you'd planned that before <laughs> Or the gig. Also, it's pretty funny because you look like I drew audience members of mine. <laughs> this guy's wearing a Spider-Man t-shirt and he's an adult. That, you could not be more in the middle of my core demographic. <laughs> Every time I see a couple react like that, where you look at each other and you relate to the material, you know what dawns on me? It dawns on me that finally, after 15 years of doing stand-up comedy, I've got one workable piece of observational material. <laughs> Because my comedy's great. It's not relatable. I can't come out here like Jerry Seinfeld and say, hey, what is the deal when someone throws a bread roll at you and you become the figurehead of a conservative hate campaign? <laughs> but this, you guys really related. Which one of you is good at sleeping and which one of you is bad at sleeping? I'm good at sleeping. Yeah, not a scientific study. I will say this every single time I've asked. I ask in the open-ended way, which one is good at sleeping, which one is bad at sleeping. The person who's good at sleeping always goes, I am good at sleeping. <laughs> Oh, I'm so good at sleeping. Look at how well rested I sound. Mm. Meanwhile, the person who's bad at sleeping is just sat there going. Ah, ah. I've had 50 coffees today. And if I have another one, I'm gonna die. Listen, you piece of shit. You're not better than her. And you're not better than me. People who are good at sleeping, you're not better than us. You don't have less anxiety than us either. You just process it at a different time of day. My girlfriend walks around all day like this. I can't believe I said that. I can't believe I said that. I can't believe I said that in 1997. I can't believe I said that. Then it's time for bed. It's like someone flips a switch and she powers down. I walk around all day like this. I'm niche and I'm great. I'm niche and I'm great. I'm niche and I'm great. Go to the supermarket. I hope you die. I'm niche and I'm great. Then it's time for bed and all I can think is I've got to read Tess of the Dirt.